Okay guys, y'all can't probably see me, but I'm about to cook some steak and rice and just enjoy it with me. It's probably gonna be a long video, but that's okay. So I already got the steak in here. So I'm like in the sink and looks like this. It's from Bravo's. It's been a minute now doing steak in my house and I need to stop going out, you know. But I love going out to eat. I love not cooking. Like, I know I'm a woman all, but I don't not want to cook like a slave. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut the scissors out of it. I just cut it like in pieces, like little pieces. I just had to make sure it was like not as frozen. Like I'll cook it frozen and then it'll just heat it up in the, you know what I'm saying? The stove. People think I don't cook. I do cook. And if it doesn't taste good, that means I haven't practiced. My baby dad used to like tell me like, oh, your shit is trash. You're never going to get married. No guy wants you. You can't even cook. I'm like, wow. Instead of not building me up, you're going to build me down. That's crazy. But yeah, men are like that. They will literally tear you down emotionally, physically, and mentally. You guys have to be careful who you be with because when I tell you my baby daddy was the worst man I ever dated, Worst man I ever dated. He emotionally abused me. If you know what that means. Just when someone just, I'm not gonna explain it because if you never experienced it, it's like, it's like you're dealing with a narcissistic. That's what I mean. If you had never dealt with that, then I thank God you never deal with that. My mom is one too, so all she cares about herself. She tells me what to do with my own kid, my dad. My dad. I listen. I talk to my dad now, and he doesn't tell me what to do with my daughter. So that's why I like my dad. Better than my mom. Too bad to say it. All he says is like, God bless you, have a good day. He doesn't tell me what to do with my own daughter. Like, I love that shit. Like, if I do need help, then you know I'll talk to you like, oh, I need help. But when I ask for help, they never be there for me. They never be there for me. It's crazy, right? If y'all have family out here, then you're lucky. I don't know what that family means, really. I am 
almost done with the cutting. And then I'm gonna show you the sauces I got. The sauces I got. I don't really have that much meat, but I'm gonna eat everything, I'm hungry. And then I throw this out and then I get another pair. <laughs> don't laugh at me, y'all. I'm gonna show you what sauces I have. I'm Dominican, so you know I got that sauce, the splice. So I'm gonna be using roasted garlic herb season. I'm gonna use rosemary leaves. I'm gonna use perica. I love this, this is so good. I'm gonna use Goa Adobe. It's the, the one with no pepper, but I'm putting pepper in my shit. This is the pepper I use. So if you see this in the store, get it now. Garlic powder. Onion powder. I put a lot of stuff on my steak. I'm telling you guys, I put a lot of stuff because I like mine seasoned. I don't like mine dry. Even though I have garlic powder, I put this on because it's actually garlic, dry garlic. I'm just gonna open these just cause. Oh, I just bought this grain leaves. Well, whatever you call it. I was buying like cooking stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put all these sauces you see in the steak. So I'm gonna start with this. I like put it down the ground. <sighs> you probably see my dodo right here in the corner. It's normal, relax. Put some pepper too. Put some garlic. 
powder. I don't, I don't have the real one. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna take a minute. And then, work out. And then the finally got the garlic. I put a lot of seasoning, man. I want my tasting so good. This will be part one. And then I'll make another video making the food. I just want you guys to know what I put on it and then we'll make a part two. Can't forget this. Okay, and that is it. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn the bell, and comment down below what you guys think. Like this video so you can have a part two and watch me cook. Peace.